USDA family, farms to families, food box. Thank you, thank you. Get this eggs. And y'all, these are the good kind, cage free. See, the food bank is good, y'all. And I'm gonna make a cake with this. You'll never guess what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a southern, my famous actually, southern pound cake that I got the recipe. The original recipe is from my friend in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then I made it very California-like, okay? <laughs> so we'll get started with the main ingredient, which is the cake flour. I prefer swans down. So we do three cups. So I have this one is exact management measurements I can give it. Three cups of cake flour. And you can use regular sugar, but this sugar is, this one is really great. The uh, ultra fine pure cane sugar. You can use regular sugar, but this makes it so smooth and silky. So three cups of sugar, quarter teaspoon, either half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon of um, baking soda. And then um, three, what are each one of these? Four ounces. So this is actually a half a cup. So three of these, which makes a cup and a half of butter. I like challenge, you can use any butter. Uh, this butter I got from the food bank, but you can use any butter you have, okay? And so then also I put in flavoring a little lemon extract and a little vanilla. And I just taste it, I don't really measure it. Maybe, maybe, maybe a teaspoon of this and then maybe a, a tablespoon of lemon. I like it to have a lot of lemon. And then I just received these from the food bank. Oh my God, I had it on the list to make this cake, my neighbor's birthday, yay. And um, and then we got these, it was like perfect timing. I didn't have to spend any money. Okay, so food bank eggs, and so I do, I do seven eggs. The recipe calls for six, but I like doing seven because I like it really light. Um, let's see, what else, what else? So, oh, and sour cream, and um, eight ounces of sour cream. And that's it, mise en place. Let's get started with preparing the pan. Very important. All right. Okay, I've, I've tried different methods to get the pan right because the outside crust of the pound cake is the most important. I like it to taste like a cookie, really soft and, and kind of a nice thick. In order to do that, nothing can stick to the pan. Okay, that's my goal, that's our goal. And so I've tried everything, pan, um, baking pan with flour, and it just doesn't turn out right. It pops out, but it has all these white marks on it. I don't like it. So this is what I have found to be true and helps. That works. Shortening, Cisco. Cisco, <laughs> I mean Crisco. Crisco shortening. See, take just a little bit. I literally just this this little tube thing is the most important because I don't like it to stick in the middle. It wants to be really pretty and golden. Stuff I think I've gotten everything nicely lubricated with the Crisco. And now I've tried regular flour, um, but what works is cake flour. So I'm gonna put just a little bit. I'm doing it. I <laughs> make sure it gets on that tube. That's the most important. And then, all right, and we set this aside and then we preheat our oven to 325, like right now, while we're mixing everything. 325 preheat and then you set your um, floured pan aside. All right. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is pre-measure everything and we do three cups of the sugar. And three cups. It's really important to measure everything and set it aside so you don't forget. So I set that aside and then the next thing is like this. So this is my, um, <laughs> Oh, this is so old, but this is my flour sifter. So, 
third cup. And then baking soda. And I do a half teaspoon. There it is. Half teaspoon. And I like to do it so that it's level. So I take this. See if I can show you how I do it. And then I just kind of rub it up on the top. And see, you have a level half of a teaspoon. In baking, it's really important to measure. <laughs> it's very important. And so I'll just kind of sift that all together. All right, and we set that aside. Sugar in the butter comes next. So you want your you want your butter at room temperature. You know I've messed up and had a little bit of paper in the mix. I'm telling you, this is a maybe about 20 years I've been making this cake, and I've had all kinds of stories. You know, not enough sugar, too much sugar. I get distracted because I'm drinking and talking. <laughs> Or if the oven fails and it, fa and it falls. <laughs> so I have now learned to be just a little careful and pay attention. And I usually like doing this alone <laughs> so I can concentrate. So because it's kind of cold in my apartment that this room temperature really is my little fork. It's still kind of hard. So I'm going to just kind of break this up a little bit. So it just makes it easier to blend in the sugar. And I don't have a microwave. What you could do is quickly, I'm telling you like a second, just to soften it, you do not want melted butter. Okay. But that will at least save you this kind of, this is like the hardest part for me. And it's simply because it's cold in the apartment. So one cup of the sugar, approximate. All right, now we are get this party started, and we need to do um, one egg at a time, all right? I also have to be careful with the shells. <laughs> I've actually had shells in it. I usually catch the shells, though. I've never baked it with shells in it but I caught it in the, in the batter. <laughs> and what's that, six? And the sour cream, we'll prep that. So we will start with the, um, just mix all that fluid around. All right, so we start with a, a cup of flour and we alternate. So I'll use this last one to get all this flour off the edges. Okay, now here's the final touches. We just put, um, I'll start off with, and this time I'll measure it. So let's start off with a um, teaspoon of vanilla extract. Uh, let's do two teaspoons. Well, one and a half. and my lemon 
extract. And then an extract, and let's do a tablespoon. Let's do two tablespoons of the lemon extract. I really like it to taste lemony. Even though this is a southern, let's be clear, you guys. People say 7-Up cake, people say lemon pound cake. This is a southern pound cake. It is not a lemon pound cake. It is not a 7-Up pound cake. But most of the ingredients are, are um, the same. You just replace the 7-Up with the sour cream. So I guess this is more of a sour cream based southern pound cake. And let's do one last whip. our pre-floured pan. And let's see if I can... I'm gonna pour first. It's pretty liquidy. Glad I didn't add that extra egg because this is maybe a little, just a tad bit Rennier than I usually like it. And there we have it. Alright y'all, this goes into a 325 oven for an hour and maybe 20 minutes. I usually check it in an hour. Hour 20, hour 30. Alright, here we go. Into the oven. Yummy! Alright, it's been an hour and 20 minutes an hour and 25 and it's perfect and here it is hot out the oven mm. 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 smells so good mm. been overnight and the cake is completely cooled off. Mm. So now I like to finish with a little powdered sugar. That's it. Make it like snow. Yeah, right. And You think that's enough? Or you want to put more? More snow. More snow. Okay, let me give you some more. Yes, it's a goddy, it's a goddy. <laughs> Southern pound cake for comfort, y'all. It's time for us to have a little treat. So we'll take a nice slice, the first slice. that thick. That's a nice size. How about that? There. 
Isn't that beautiful, y'all? All right, so we're gonna put this on a plate. And we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna heat this up. <laughs> we're gonna heat it up with a little bit of butter. Oh my goodness. All right, to the stove. Okay, now we're gonna do a quick browning of the pound cake. Oh, it takes pound cake to a whole new level. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Put a little bit of our yogurt, honey, and lemon zest. Now, like I said, you could do ice cream. You could do sour cream. But we use the yogurt from the food bank. Yogurt, honey. Mm. Let's put a little more of that frozen lemon zest on top. Just to add that little, you know how we do it. And then let's put a little sprig of mint. How about that, y'all? How about that? And there you have it. Southern pound cake with a little bit of a yogurt, lemon, honey sauce. Warmed in a little bit of butter. Come on, y'all. What? 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 What you talking about? That's beautiful, y'all. It's beautiful. Yummy in the tummy. You know what time it is? <laughs> it's time to throw down. <laughs> I just love saying that. All right. Oh my goodness. Y'all can't even hear. It's got a little crisp to it. All right. Here we go. One. <laughs> One. Two. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Mm. Mmm, 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 that good? Mmm, 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 that is so good, y'all. Southern pound cake, we can have comfort in this pandemic, y'all. We're looking brighter, we're on the other side of this, slowly but surely. So why not treat yourself? Eggs from the food bank, yogurt from the food bank, our butter also from our community food bank bags come on y'all we can do this and we can have fun and enjoy life right all right enjoy your cake have your cake give them cake <laughs> bye y'all bye love you love you stay safe love you hi everybody okay i am going to oops hi <laughs> everybody i'm taking a quick trip to queen Ada to get some hot milk, hopefully it's fish, cross my fingers, and um, then to Safeway to get some sugar and sour cream, I'm going to make it mm -hmm. Okay, and it's raining outside. Alright, we can do this. On my way to Safeway, I'll talk to you in a minute. As usual, I overshopped at Safeway. This and there, that's for my cake. Home sweet home. 